In this video, I'm going to show you a way, a new way to do walk cycles. I used to use uh, in place, but now I find with the new Unreal Engine 5, it's gotten way better, and you can match the bones way better. So don't do, don't download this animation anymore. Download this one that moves, and we're going to parent it together. So it's very cool. You can use any walking animation, but you may need to test to see if it works. It won't always work uh, flawlessly. The one I selected, I know works. So we're going to go to our content folder in our Mixamo character and in our animations, and we're going to import the animation I just found. Uh, and so let's go to find the animation. Now where, where did I put it? There it is, walking. Uh, make sure you reset and go get the correct skeleton. So mine's called Exo, so I'm going to bring him in and import all. So you have a different Mixamo character, just make sure you get that skeleton. And what I'm going to do is just draw, drag him in. Um, he's coming in upside down. So use the WER keys, rotate it, and we're going to press the Alt S to simulate. So instead of pressing the play key, you want to Alt S simulate is what you do. And so, yeah, he's looking great. So um, let's see here. So I'm going to delete him because I don't want to bring in the animation. I need to use the static mesh that's called uh, Exo uh, Skeleton. Let me just go grab it. Oh, uh, probably it's already in the scene. I'm going to create a new uh, level sequence. We'll call it four. Again, naming convention is important. Make sure you talk about that with your students. Uh, so I know what it's called, so I'll just search it, Exo, and drag it right in the uh, timeline. And I'm going to go get the walk cycle. If you have a lot of animations, you might want to learn to type them in just because it'll take you forever to look. So, um, oh, he's still invisible in place. So for now, I could turn it off or do like I did in the previous video, move this before the play button starts and it'll be red. And then, you know, using these arrows, that'll put it right at the beginning. Actually moves the keyframe then use the arrow then i'm back here and i'll select just check this off and it'll make it visible and don't forget to right away go make it invisible at the scene because if you have two three characters or your characters in the scene two three times it's going to be overlapping himself uh and so let's just see how how it looks looks good and alt and drag it this is how you do it you don't pull it you alt and drag it so that's really important um because i'll just show you there alt and drag it that's what you want to do so you have it there twice so it's, it's the same animation but there twice so on the first clip we're going to click show skeleton which you see the skeleton and on the second clip we're going to do the same thing show skeleton it's really simple it might look complicated but it isn't so we're going to select the second clip. Uh, let's see here. Just go to match previous clip hips. And I'll, that's your root bone. It, it's probably depends on your Mixamo character. Could be called something. Oh, there's a little change in direction here. Okay, I must have done something wrong. Let me Maybe I just need to go back here and... Make sure I select the second clip and that my playhead is on the second clip. I'll, I'll redo it because there's probably an error. Alt and drag. Let's do that. And so I'm going to select, make sure my playhead. Now, actually, that's what the error was. I think the playhead needs to go where the first clip is. It's a small, silly detail, but let's check this out. I click hips, which is the root bone. And see, it just keeps walking, which is perfect. I'm going to see what happens here. If I drag another one out, is it going to just keep doing it? Or let's see. It just keeps walking. That's a, excellent. So I could really just put my whole walk sequence in and then drop my cameras in and film it however I want. And I could make them drop, walk as far as I need them to using this basic technique. Um, probably I do want to move my uh, red end of the clip thing here sooner but anyways for this i think it's just to show you how to do the walk cycle and i'm going to turn off the skeletons because it might render out and i don't want that 
So get rid of it once you're done. And there's your character taking a walk. And now you could do whatever it is you need to do. And that's it. Thanks.